this has become uh, one of our favorite places to eat. It's called uh, Seoul Bibimbab. Basically, it's Korean. So I get the bagogi. It's really good, as you can see. Every time there's a line, and uh, we're gonna time it this time. Last time it took, by the time we went through the line and the time we waited to get the food, it took about 45 minutes. Of course, the mall's packed right now because of Christmas. So there's nowhere to sit either, which kind of stinks. But uh, yeah, it's, I mean, relatively cheap costs us for both of us to eat is uh, less than ten dollars maybe eight bucks or something like that and it's really good food so for us it's worth the wait plus I'm retired I'm on vacation I got nothing better to do anyway so whether I'm walking around the mall aimlessly or standing here in line it really doesn't matter so we're gonna time it and let you know how long it takes to get it and I'll do a uh, food review on this one So, good news and bad news, it took us only 15 minutes to get this far to order the food, which is, I think, a little bit quicker than last time. But, the bad news is, they don't have any bulgogi, which is like their number one thing, so, plus it was my favorite. So, I had to get pork, samgipsal, um... Not excited about that. Hopefully it tastes good. I don't know. We'll find out. I had to, I had to get something, but I wanted bulgogi. So anyways, now we ordered it. Now we wait to pick it up. So if we can get, if I can get through this line in 15 minutes, that means we only had to wait 30, which would be outstanding. And my wife was going to see if she can find us some place to sit. Okay, so the waiting is done. It's time to dig in. That was a total of 40, little over 40 minutes. We'll see if it was worth the wait this time. Like I said, not exactly what I wanted. My wife got what she wanted. That's what she gets every time. So I, I would I wanted to do a food review on the on the bulgogi because it's delicious, but we'll see what the uh, what the pork's going to be like. I can tell now there's a lot of fat in it, but maybe it's marinated. I don't know. Hopefully it's good. We'll let you know. Good. This is the um, this is the kimchi, and uh, I started liking the kim the kimchi here. Before when I was in Korea, I ate the fermented kimchi, and I wasn't a big fan of it. So when I was there, I would always get the cucumber kimchi which is like a special form of it. I think they made it up for Americans, I don't know, but we would always eat the cucumber kimchi. But this cabbage kimchi here, I don't know if it's fermented or not, but it's, it has like a pickled taste to it, and they put the spice in it, so you kind of add it to um, the other stuff that you're eating, it gives it a little bit of a bite. It's like a perfect addition. So, um, 
Yeah, I, get, I mean, this is good. I, I like the bulgogi better, but it's, I mean, it's still good. It has, it has a nice taste to it. Something about these uh, cast iron skillets that they use in it, it kind of like, um, I don't know, some type of uh, flavoring that simmers on the bottom of it that they probably marinate the meats in, but it's really good. Um, that's what my wife's looks like, and it's a combination of different meats and eggs and vegetables and she stirs it all up together with rice and then they give you this special sauce which is kind of spicy too mr kimbo mr kimbob special sauce gochujang so that's good i think our um how much did it come to what was the price like 400 and something like I said I think it's around eight dollars and I got the mandu as well it's like a sweet chili sauce like you dip the uh, lumpia into mm. that's good really good I get up I highly recommend it if, um, if you ever come to Angeles City or Papanga and you're near Clark, come to the SM Mall and try out the uh, Seoul Bimbab. And they have the same thing in, where do we eat this at? Oh, we were in uh, San Fernando La Onion. And there's a mall there, I think it might be Robinson's or something, but they have one of these places inside their food court as well and that's where we first tried it I think these places are all over the place really good though highly recommend it outstanding and the other thing I like about this place is for probably a good solid hour after you're done eating you have this nice aftertaste you know, and even if you burp or if you rift or something like that, it's a nice taste that comes up. You know. Yeah, like I said, I don't I don't have enough good things to say about it. It's one of my one of my favorite places to eat. All together with just delicious flavor, um, good portion size, and um, on top of that it's it's cheap, so yeah, we eat here uh, probably once a week, but I could definitely eat here more. I have to see. I think I wonder if maybe they're on grab. I might be able to use it, use the grab, and have it delivered. is very popular as well the chicken is marinated and grilled and tastes delicious it's also really cheap so 
You can't get in there. Not in this mall. It's always like that. Tell me why you would have a store full of winter cloak, winter coats in the Philippines. It's not, it's over 90 degrees outside. And I don't think it ever gets any cooler than that. Even if you went to Baguio, it's still 70 degrees, 65 probably at the lowest. And you're not gonna wear <laughs> a skiing jacket. I don't get it, you know? I, I mean, Columbia, yeah, it's a good brand, but how, how on earth could you, whatever. 